Hey guys, this is Jim. Uh, I am uh, coming to you live, 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 live. Uh, if you're watching the replay, you're going to do me a favor, hit hashtag, you know, the big old hashtag replay. Let me know you're here. Let me know what's going on in the comments. Let me know uh, if you got some value out of this. Share this post uh, if you found some value. And so, but, you know, I'm going to give it a second because I know Facebook takes a minute to really think about who's, it, who's it's inviting. But I just want to tell you a good morning. It is 11.06. You notice how I had a look at that, right? It's 11.06 here on the East Coast. It's a nice sunny day here in Southern Florida. Uh, we're at the 80 degree mark. I don't know where you are. If Let me know where you are. Tell me how cold it is there because I am not looking forward to going back up north. So here's the deal. Um, as we kick into this, I started thinking about this season and some of the things that I'm personally going through, some of the things that uh, you may be going through, some of the posts that I've seen that have been very challenging in the fact that people are alone, people are upset, people are dying, people are in the hospital, people have cancer and things like that. And then I'm walking around the stores and I hear these people, I hear the kids and they're complaining about what they don't have and, and they're complaining about all this stuff that they wish they had and things like that. And, and I wanted to come to you for a second and to tell you, take inventory this Christmas, right now, take an inventory of what you have, who you have in your life. Because you have the most precious gifts of family. This is stuff money can't buy. This is stuff that, 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 that connection is nothing you're going to be able to pay for. And when I, when, I, when I walk around and I hear all the things, even my own child did it this morning. They opened something from a friend and, and they were like, oh, I didn't get this. And I, and I had a real strong talk with them about learning to be grateful for what they have, not what they think they want. And to really focus on where you're at and who's around you and who's with you. This season's a very tough season for a lot of people. The, as I mentioned earlier, if you, is that people have been dying. People are on drugs. My wife is currently in the hospital. You know, the season is, 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 is a season of giving and to be with family. And not everybody has that opportunity to be with family. So, so be sensitive in your post. Be generous in your caring and your love. Be present with people connect with people because although maybe you're in a place where this is the greatest season of your life this is the greatest time of the year for you there's other people right now who are struggling to even find hope there's people right now that are struggling to find happiness and and, and that fulfillment and that wholeness my, my personal little family here are are struggling because mommy is going to be in the hospital for christmas and we can't see her and my kids are sad and I'm sad and, and, and you know, it really puts things in perspective. It really puts life in perspective about how life is, has nothing to do with the money you have and what you can buy, but it has everything to do with who you're with and how you're with them. And as Chris says, uh, yeah, connection matters, man. Thank you for that because that's super important. And I go through life now, I, I call myself a relationship ninja. Because I, I, it's something I'm talented at, it's something I, I love helping people with. But here's what I know, is that so many people are connected with people, but they're not present in those connections. We take for granted those we see every day. We take for granted those that, that we interact with. We take for granted and say, you know what, they'll always be there. But the tr truth of the matter is, is they won't always be there. Grace, what's going on? Glad to see you. Um, you never know. Life is so short. As a pastor, I've been, I, I've been in ministry for 15 years, and, and I've had the privilege and honor to work with, with many families during this time. And one of the things that I, that, I, that I can tell you, and you probably know in your life, is that tragedy hits suddenly. Tragedy hits quickly. You're not ready for it. You won't be ready for it. So what do you do then? And my challenge is for you guys who are listening who aren't going through tragedy is to really connect to those who are. Because share the happiness that you have. Share the joy that you have with the people that are around you. Because if we're truly to be the human race, then we need each other because we're not a group of independent people trying to do independent things. We are a 
group of people trying to be interconnected with one another, doing great things. Relationships and the leveraging of those relationships are the most important commodity in this world. It's not how much uh, you're going to make this year. I mean, guess what? You make your money through what? People. Your business grows through people. Your, your, your family grows through people. Your church grows through people. You see what I'm saying? People are the most biggest commodity in this world. They're the only th investment you can make that will have any, any true return. Because that connection is deep and that connection drives you to a place of contentment. And if I was to ask you guys, how many of you are truly content right now? And maybe a small percentage of you guys would say yes, but maybe the bigger part of us would be like, you know what, I'm not really content. What is missing in your life? And the truth is, is relationships. They've done studies on old, you know, rich people who feel alone. What, what was the thing? They had all of this money. They can buy all of this happiness, but they sacrificed relationships to do it. My point being, and Troy, thanks for that, man. And um, my point being is this. Guys, this is a difficult season. And, and as joyful it is, and as much as we see the fat man running around, and, and many of you will go to church on Christmas Eve six times at your church or whatever, there are people sitting there. People that will never tell you they're hurting. People that will never share with you their pain. But you can see it in their eyes. And all they're looking for is somebody to acknowledge their pain. Not for you to have the answer. Not for you to... Be the, be the all-knowing, omnipotent one. But they're looking for somebody to connect to. That's why relationships are so important. That's why connection is so important. You share the joy that you have. You share the hope that you have. Because somebody right now needs it. Somebody right now needs it. Um, you know, let me leave you with this. Because I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this. And you may see me on later on tonight. You may never know who your smile helped. When I used to do youth ministry, I trained the kids. And this is one of the things that, because I used to teach at a public school. And I can tell you one year we had 12 to 13 kids. That one year, this was fifth, sixth grade class, tell me they wanted to commit suicide and three or four of them try it. And I told my youth ministry and I used to tell my classes, smile at people, hug on them. If you see a post that you don't agree, don't be a jerk and try to argue with them. If it's a hard post, figure out where they're at. Why did they post that? Because you never know what your kindness has brought somebody back from. You never know what that smile has saved somebody from. You never know what that being present for that 30 seconds, that one post that said, man, I'm thinking of you, or that one text that says, dude, you're on my mind. You never know what that drew, drew what, what, devastating place that drew somebody back from so guys reach out be present this season isn't about gifts this season is about being a gift this season isn't about you know giving trinkets it's about giving yourself and there's a hurting world that needs you there's a hurting world that that needs that connection i need that connection you need that connection so let's be interconnected Let's be together and let's share that love. Guys, if you found value in this, hit the hashtag value at the bottom. Let me know you're, you're with me. And then secondly, share this out because people need to hear this. Much love. I'm praying for you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Talk to you soon.